cooler temperatures are approaching. So what I'm do going to do is use some supplements for my orchid. Homemade, you can do it yourself. So I have some eggshells left over from the, um, from the French toast and I'm gonna place it in the oven um, for 15, 20 minutes on 300 degrees, okay? Stay tuned for the next step. In today's video, baby, we're be breaking it all the way down, okay? We've been talking NPK. We've been talking about all of the nutrients. This is the finished result of my crushed eggshells. Now, Fab House, these eggshells will produce calcium. Calcium is needed for strong bones and strong cell walls. Stay tuned! And then, Fab Pals. <laughs> Um, take the eggshells, put them in a container, and then we are going to smash them up. So and then... <laughs> So, thanks for staying tuned. I just want to let you guys know with so many of these new plant channels and orchid channels, honey, it is hard out there for a pimp. So, please, give this video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the People's Channel, honey. Join the movement. Become a foul pal. Join my foul pal group on Facebook, honey. I will leave the information below. This is why when you have rapid growth, with your cat Leia and um, not enough calcium in the um, production of it, this is when you're going to get that water damage. Now, this is my cat Leia Blanca, okay? My cat Leia Blanca. Damn. So much new growth on this new cat Leia that I received from Redlands um, Orchid Festival. And this is an orchid that's been, that's only been in my care for a few months. So bringing her from outside to inside, what is going to sustain her is giving her some of this calcium. Now you will stay tuned as I will show you how to administer the calcium if you have not already done it, which when you do your repotting, you wanna add a little calcium at the bottom of the pot, okay? Because that's where most of your root tips are going to be. But yes, and when she gets some some strong bones, honey, just like you need milk, just like you need milk for some strong bones, honey, your orchid needs strong cell walls. That's why um, my uncle Rick L, please check out his channel because maybe he can break it down to you in a way that I'm not able to. But he will um, have, he has some of the most masculine looking orchids. And that's because he really has a great understanding of NPK and what to feed your orchids. But orchids for dummies, new beginners, I want to let you know until you have a strong idea of how to mix fertilizers and PPMs and um, NPK and googly boogly and stuff like that, honey. Don't you put all that fertilizer in your orchids, okay? Get you some of this crushed eggshell, honey. Get you some of the crushed eggshell, okay? Now, for orchids where the moss has already broken down, we are not going to mess with that, no ma'am. What we are going to do is get just a little pinch and sprinkle it around. And this is going to break down over time. You don't have to worry about your orchid's roots burning, okay? This is going to be the fertilizer that you want to use in the winter months, foul pals, okay? You want to start substituting. You want to start, um, you want to start, um, doing everything that you can to make sure that your orchids survive this winter. And by putting in this calcium boo-boo, I'm trying to tell you, your orchid's gonna say, hey, yeah, oh, yeah. And 
whiskey. I'm not putting a lot in there. I'm not putting all of that in there. I'm just putting in a little bit. Going to put the moss back over it. And that's how you are going to um, sufficiently administer calcium to your orchids in the winter months. Now stay tuned. Yes, ma'am, honey. I had to show off my variegated leaves on my phalaenopsis, honey, because you guys with bananas. Now, mama has been talking about orchid fertilizer for quite some time. I'm glad that you guys are staying tuned. I'm glad that mama is ranking, okay? What I want you to see is that on my new um, phalaenopsis orchid that has rapid growth, the leaf is splitting. Now, Mama has made a video before talking about um, the leaves splitting like this, okay? Especially your new growth because with the Phalaenopsis orchids, you know that they absorb nutrients from the, their bottom leaves and pull it into the stem, okay? That's what they typically do. However, um, calcium is not going to be one of those nutrients that it does that way, okay? So you wanna make sure that you compensate your orchids with calcium. And this can be applied to any of your house plants. It's not just one particular orchid or one particular type of house plant. This is something that any vegetable garden would love to have. Tip and trick like your Epsom salt, that's magnesium. Now, we're going to get there, honey. We're going to get there. Like I said, mama has been in the books on the highways and the byways, okay? Now, this is my other phalaenopsis right here, okay, that's in bloom. Now, bringing our orchids in from the winter or most of our orchids are going to go into their dormancy. Their dormancy. I'm sorry, foul pals. They are going to become dormant and they're going to store, start storing up nutrients. That is not the time that you want to fertilize your orchids. You only want to fertilize the orchids that has new growth, okay? That is growing at the time, okay? So my dendrobium is another house plant, another orchid that has new growth. So this is going to be an orchid that I will continue to fertilize in the winter months, okay? It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So you guys will have to stay tuned. Do not go out rushing, um, fertilizing all of your orchids. Like I said, the eggshells is very much something that you can do, okay? Something that you can do any Sunday at home. Okay, after you get them eggs and bacon ready and that toast for church, okay, after you get through with them eggs, honey, go ahead, bake them, crush them up, put them in your plant like that. Bam! Cause I can fly higher than an eagle. Cause you are the wind beneath my wings. Yes, and I wanted you guys to see my spike, honey, before um, anything happened to her since I had to bring her indoors. I wanted you guys to see that the um, calcium, the crushed eggs, shells can be used for any of your indoor plants and outdoor plants that you have bought in. Now, this is really going to help um, fight against those bugs as well because the stronger your plant is, the stronger your um, orchid will be able to fight off natural elements such as that in Mother Nature, okay? So just giving all of your orchids, all of your house plants, um, some of this fertilizer, it will alone get you through those winter months. So that and every time, every other watering, add some of that Epsom salt, baby. And that's how we're going to get through those winter months. I will break it down more in later videos. I want you guys to stay tuned. I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to the People's Channel. I thank you new subscribers for subscribing. Um, all of those older videos, honey, that we was talking about um, somebody in the past, honey, mommy is on a new page. I want you guys to trust and believe that I'm not going to lead you astray. I'm not going to have any negativity on this channel. We are the positive people. We are the light of the world. And with that being, 
said foul pals. Until next time.